everybody Anne here sitting here out in front of the chickens having my coffee with all of you lovely people well how did the chickens do last night I'm gonna show you they all made it through the night just fine and Torch is very curious about them he just wants to make friends <laughs> But there were no stressed out uh, sounds from the coop last night. When they all eventually went in, I did have to corral Torch in there. But um, it wasn't much of a problem at all. And throughout the day yesterday, I was glad I was able to watch that all happen. Slowly but surely, they're warming up to one another. This guy here, the hens, <laughs> they're not exactly sure what to think of this big boy. But Torch is trying to tip in. He's trying to make friends. And slowly but surely, they're acclimating. So, yeah, I think I did the right thing with kind of bringing him out here during the day so I could watch and see what happened. Um, trying to chase this one around at night would be too difficult. Plus, when it's getting dark, it's kind of hard to tell the darker chickens apart. And um, trying to get up underneath of all of this that I got going on. It would have been hard to do in the dark, so I made 100% absolutely the best decision on how to do this. And um, Torch is getting used to this. He seems to be kind of happy, and the hens are venturing out more and more. Oh, look at, I threw chia seeds out here, and the greens are starting to sprout up, and the chickens love to pick away at them. All right, let's go look at the little tiny baby chickens. Hard to see because it's kind of dark, but they also made it through the night very well. Um, I brought a red light in here. It doesn't provide any heat, just a little solar light. And I put it on top so that they could see at night a little bit better and decide where they wanted to roost. As it turns out, they wanted... Oh, I, I put some scratch down there and it's on the top. I need to shake that down. Um, they all roosted up on top of that little house there. But they are happy. They're getting along well. Also a very good decision to bring in these little beautiful baby chickens during the daytime so they could explore, kind of learn their way around. And uh, it turned out really great. I ordered a bunch of stuff from Tractor Supply Company for curbside pickup. So I got to go pick that up and some chick starter grower feed. And I'm just feeding that to the whole flock for right now. Uh, some scratch grains, some more grit, that big bag of grit um, that was sent to me is already almost gone. Now, I don't feed it to the free rangers, but the other ones that don't free range, I do give it to them. So I got to go pick all that up. And I looked on my informed delivery for my post office box. It is still open, but I'm not going to pay the fee um, to renew it, I think, like in, at, in October. Um, so it'll probably only be open until like the first week of November and then that's it. I've taken it off of my about page so because I don't want anybody else uh, sending me anything via USPS. They're just too unreliable and their prices are going to be going up and their, um, their shipping is going to be slowing down. Um, that's just a thing. It's going to happen. It's in the news. So don't use the U.S. Postal Service, um, and, you know, as far as packages, I really don't know. Um, I'm not giving out my home address. I, I just can't do that. If you feel you want to support the channel or help encourage me and this channel, um, I do have... Goodness, it's pandemonium in the chicken area. Um, I do have a PayPal wish list, uh, not a PayPal, an Amazon wish list. I do have a PayPal. I have a tractor supply wish list. Um, but otherwise, I, I just don't know how to manage the personalized packages because um, it's just not safe for me to give out my home address. I don't want anyone giving out any information about my home address, okay? Uh, so, other YouTubers out there who are familiar with me, please don't give any information about my home address. Uh, thank you. And, um, so, I don't know. I, I just, I'm not going to do the post office box anymore. So, it's going to be closed as of November. So, if you already have my address, just keep that in mind because after November, I won't be able to receive packages there anymore. Anyhow, um, so I got to go into town. Hopefully, hopefully the post office will mark it delivered sometime today. I mean, it's been there for over two hours and they still haven't marked it as delivered. 
Um, it came out of Memphis, and that's the same place that the last package that Miss Carrie sent me, and this is from her as well. And as you remember, that package had been pilfered through. Um, so let's just keep our fingers crossed that everything goes okay with that package. So after I get back from going into town, I'll let you know how it went. I've been to town, and now I'm back, and oh my goodness, oh, oh, oh. A big box not as big as the last time but this is also from Carrie B so I'm gonna rip into this and show you what it is so you know what time it is I'm gonna open this up right now I think I know something that she's gonna get because she gave me a hint and it's something like what she sent the last time I'll give you a hint. I hugged it. <laughs> All right. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and just show you this here. Look at that. Meticulously packed. That is gorgeous. So I'm going to go ahead and open it up. Yeah, that last box, it was definitely tossed. Definitely tossed. So yeah, I'm going to check this out now. One by one, I'm going to show you what I get. First thing, more fabric. Look. I think it's chickens. It is chickens. It's chickens and roosters and sunflowers. More fabric. More of this kind of fabric too, which is gorgeous. And more chicken fabric. Oh my gosh. Okay, one yard. You know what? I have no concept of what one yard is, so I need to figure out how much that is and so I can figure out what to do with it. But look. Oh, beautiful. Thank you, Carrie. I can tell I'm going to have some sewing projects during the cold months, so this is great. Oh, This is how she must have done the last box, but whoever went through it just tossed it all back in. Look at this. These aren't soap dishes. See that? They are containers, and they have numbers. Oh my gosh, I already see. Oh, and it kind of seals it. You close it, and it seals it. Look at that, look at that. I can't believe I thought they were soap dishes. That's hilarious. Okay, first of all, more bones for Papa. He loves, loves, loves these things. Snacks. More kind bars. These are the most delicious things ever. I love them. Um, and they've got protein in them, so they're... Oh, oh my gosh. More shelf-stable ham. That ham, I went through it so quickly. I had it on sandwiches. I had it with breakfast. I put it in beans. Oh, it's wonderful. And another bone for Papa. Two shelf stable bacon. I love bacon. Oh, that's not it. That's not it. That's not all. Two more. I have a total of four. Four shelf stable bacon. You guys, this stuff is delicious. It is it's applewood smoked country bacon and it is a, you can put it on your shelf you don't have to worry about refrigerating it although I do refrigerate it after I open it if I'm not going to use the whole 14 ounces um, and it's just delicious it is absolutely delicious one thing too is if you put it like in a pot of beans or whatever you don't have to add salt because it, it's cured with salt and you don't have to add any more so one two three four Bacon! Oh, another one of these. Another one of these hot pepper ones. I'm gonna make something wonderful with that. Wet ones, antibacterial, antibacterial, fresh scent, tropical splash. I go through these like crazy. Somebody had sent me the ones in the little pack that you just open up the top. And since I deal so much with the chickens, um, you know, I don't think hand sanitizer is enough. Sometimes you get stuff on your hands and you want to get the particulate off. So I actually just use these and then I use hand sanitizer on top of this. Kills 99.99% of germs and I also wipe down my surface. I can't talk. I also wipe down my surfaces with it. So these are wonderful. She also sent me some pink duct tape. <laughs> Another one of these beautiful containers. And I have to tell you, those other containers, you may not have been able to see, but they were actually broken, cracked. Um, so I wasn't able to use them. These all came in good condition. And look, you just open this up. The lid comes off. And here's what she sent me. No sew curtain supplies. <gasps> 
she gets me. There's some of this stuff, little ropey stuff. Yes, I like to use that. Oh my goodness, thank you so much, Velcro. Um, the, the Velcro that I had pulled off, you know, that sink area that I had that where the propane tank was under before I got the, the sink that I've got now, um, I pulled it off and, and the Velcro is not sticking to the table around where I have it now. So I need it. Oh, she got, she got me four of them. Four of them. So I'm going to have plenty to be able to con uh, finish that curtain job and more needles. I didn't have any needles. Well, I think she sent me um, a needle and thread kit. Um, but these are plenty of needles because I'm always losing stuff. Oh, oh. Same more kind bars. These are my favorite. They're kind of pricey, so I can't really, you know, get them very often, but they're just absolutely delicious. Oh my gosh. Kind oatmeal. I love to make oatmeal when it gets cold, and this has whole grain oats, sliced almonds, and dark chocolate. Can you imagine how delicious that's going to be? And it's nutritious. Five grams of protein per serving. Um, complex carbohydrates, and those are the best for you because they last the longest with you. Those are the oats. So wonderful. Oh, this is great. Um, baby powder. I use a lot of baby powder. I really do. It helps me feel fresh and not so stank. You know what I mean? Um, aloe and vitamin E and oh, this is great. Thank you. Great idea. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay. She sent me this beautiful ball jar. There's a number of things I can put in this and I've been wanting to get more ball jars, but this is a nice big one. So I'm gonna be able to store. I'm not sure what I'm gonna store because I, I do a lot of my dry storage in jars and I put the little um, desk and oxygen absorbers, whatever, inside. Um, I've done it with, well, a number of things. I'll show you what I've done eventually. Well, I, I think I've already showed you like with the beans and the rice and stuff like that. Um, but I'm going to use this for something else, but there's something inside here. <laughs> something. Oh. <sighs> you guys, you're not going to believe this. This is so funny. Look at see, uh, country bacon maple wood smoked seasoning pieces. These are going to be great. And she sent me, oh, they smell so good. They smell so good. Hickory smoked biscuit bites for little breakfast sandwiches. Oh, this stuff is great. Ref uh, registered Kentucky, Kentucky country ham. I can't talk, I'm so excited. No refrigeration required. These are going in a pot of beans and these are going on breakfast sandwiches. Thank you so much, Carrie. One more thing of bacon. I am set for bacon for a while, you guys. Oh my gosh. I love it. Look at this. A little long tip lighter. I love to have these. Um, I don't think this one's re refillable. No, this is, it is refillable. <gasps> it's refillable. And I have butane. I think it's butane, right? I just put butane in it. Where's the little thingy? I don't know. I'll figure that out later. I'm sure I'll be able to figure it out. But I like to start fires with this. I like to uh, fire my, my camp stove up with these. Um, so this is great. Thank you, Carrie. Very thoughtful gifts. I'm glad they came in good condition this time. Those canisters, in addition to the ball jar that you gave me, are going to be wonderful for dry storage. Um, so I just have to laugh at myself that I thought the last, the little dishes, because they weren't on top of anything. I, I couldn't figure it out. I mean, look at it. Come on. That kind of looks like a soap dish, right? Yeah. <laughs> Anyhow. Um, Thank you so, so very much for that, Carrie. Very, very thoughtful. I adore you. And, um, yeah, you've got me motivated to start sewing some stuff. Mm -hmm. This has already become a 15-minute video, so that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.